So in this video, now we will try to learn lead and lag function in SQL. So how they are going to work. So basically lead and lag, if you wanted to get that previous row value, and if you wanted to get next row value, we use lead and lag function. That is by default present in SQL Server. So let's move to SQL Server and try to understand. <clears throat> so now you can see that lag and lead both of them have this uh, similar syntax, only that function name is different, where we pass that column name, offset and default. These two are optional. So I will explain you what is that offset and default we need. So suppose if you wanted to get that uh, previous row. So if it's first row, then it will be null. So that time, if you wanted to pass any default value, we can use that default. And offset is by default, it's going to take one row. If you wanted to alter two rows next value, then we can use that offset. And over clause, we already know, partition by, we already know, and order by is mandatory for that. Okay, so you can see whatever in this bracket, it's optional, rest all is mandatory. So now I will go and run that. Let's start from nature. So this table we're going to use where we have six rows and department and high date we have. So now what I will go and I will try to do. First thing, I'll try to use that lead function and lag function. Okay. So I will use that lag. Okay. And I will use that higher date. Higher date we need, okay. And then we need over. And then order, order by department. In department and as lag value, okay. And similarly, I will use for lead as well. So I will paste it lag. Okay. And I will put name as. Okay. So now if I run this one. So now you can see that. Lag value. First one is coming null. Because this is that first row. So there is no previous row. And lead value. It's coming as null for sixth one. Because there is no seventh row. Okay, so it will give that null value by default. So now we'll go to lag value. Okay, so here now 1, 2 is there 20, 22. So we are getting last row value again 1, 6. We are getting 1, 6 here 1, 4. Okay, so we are getting here that 1, 4. Okay, for this row, we are getting 4, 6 here and 0, 2, 0, 4 is coming here. Okay. So now we can see that one row previous to that, whatever value is there for higher debt, we are able to get that by lag function. Okay, and in similarly in that lead function, since 0, 1, 0, 2 have that next one is 0, 1, 0, 6. So we are getting 0, 1, 0, 6, 0, 1, 0, 4. In the same way, 3, 10 is coming to this one. Then there are no row further to display. So it's displaying as null. Okay, so now what else we can do now we'll go ahead and try to do that one more okay and i will comment this one now we'll try one more so this time what i'm going to do i will go and try to put that offset as two okay right now it's by default one so now i need two rows okay so what will be happen now you can see this two are coming null and this two are coming null because now offset is two. So we need that previous of two. Now this row, there is no previous two. Okay. This row also, there is only one previous, but for this row, we have previous two. So we are getting zero two and for here zero one zero six here zero one zero four and here similarly that. So, and in same way, it's going for that lead value as well. So now, we can, uh, how we needed that uh, two rows gap and however we need, we can go ahead and do it, okay? So now what I can do, 
I can go and try to make one more statement where we will do it now. What we'll try to do now, we already learned that how to use that offset, okay? Offset now default value, okay? So I will go with offset of two and default value since is date. So we need to pass that some date, okay? So what I will do, I will pass that 1999 iPhone zero one iPhone zero one. Okay, so this will be one date that I'm going to use for lag. And same I will use for lead. I will change that so that we can get to know In place of one. I will zero one. I will make that twelve. And this as well twelve. Okay, and now I will run it. So now you can see that in lag 0101 is replaced, okay, for that null value since we passed as a default value and their default value came this one. So in this way, we can go ahead and try to do that, which all we need that if we need any offset or if we need that any default value, we can go ahead and use that. Thank you. I hope you like this video.